Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hello, future engineers. Here is another video in calculus. I hope that this will help you improve your thinking skills, especially in mathematics. Find f of g of h. So f of g of h. These are the different functions. So for part a, f of g of x is uh, f of g of h of x so f of g of h is f of g of h of x so since h of x is x minus 1 we substitute into 2x the value of x which is x minus 1 so this is now f of quantity 2 times x minus 1 then this 2 times x minus 1 is then substituted for x in f of x so f of g of h is equal to 2 times x minus 1 plus 1 so 2 times x minus 1 plus 1 then simplifying we have 2x minus 2 plus 1 which is 2x minus 1 so f of g of h is equal to 2x minus 1 so that's it for part a for part b f of g of h is f of g of h of x since this is h of x we substitute into x for g of x 1 minus x so this f of g of h of x is f of quantity 1 minus x square and f of g of h is equal to 2 times quantity 1 minus x square minus 1 then simplifying we have 2 times quantity 1 minus 2x plus x square then minus 1 simplifying further this is 2 minus 4x plus 2x square minus 1 so therefore f of g of h is equal to 2x square minus 4x plus 1 so f of g of h is 2x square minus 4x plus 1 so that's it for part b for part c f of g of h is equal to f of g of h of x so therefore it is equal to f of quantity x plus 3 square plus 2 so x quantity x plus 3 square plus 2 into this function then f of g of h is equal to square root of this value here then minus 1 so f of g of h is f of x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus 2 simplifying this is this is f of x squared plus 6x plus 11 then this x squared plus 6x plus 11 is substituted into x into this radical so f of g of h is square root of quantity x squared plus 6x plus 11 minus 1 and then simplifying f of g of h is square root of x squared plus 6x plus 10 so that's it for part c for part d f of g of h is f of g of h of x so we have f of cosine of square root of x plus 3 then f of g of h is 2 over square root 2 over cosine of square root of x plus 3 plus 1 so that's it for part d then for the second part of the exercise by the way if you want to anticipate the solution to these exercises again you can always do that by posing the video express the function in the form f of g so we have to directly uh, find f and g so therefore uh, 
g of x should be x squared plus 4. So x squared plus 4, that should be g of x, while f of x is x to the 8. So that x to the 8, f of g is equal to the value of g of x is equal to x squared plus 4, then quantity raised to 8. So that should be the two functions. For part b, we anticipate that uh, g, g, small g of x is equal to x square, x square, g of x is equal to x square, and f of x is equal to x over x plus 1. So that's it. Uh, there is sense. Then for part C, g of t should be cosine of t, and f of t is square root of t. So that g of f of t is square root of cosine of t. So that's it, u of t. For part D, g of x should be x square and f of x should be sine x. Uh, it's obvious here. Then part E, g of x should be x plus 4 and f of x should be 2 over x. Obviously. Then part F, f of g of t should be tangent of t and f of t should be t over b plus t so that's it for this video i hope that you understood the solutions and the explanations